yeah. All right, let's grab some of this wood. Come back for the rest of you. I want to make that that turtle shell launcher that we got in the first episode. Welcome back, by the way, guys. Lagging here. Sons of the Forest, the adventure continues. Gotta make that turtle launcher so we can uh, jump up in the air from our base. And then just, hey, feathers. I'm getting distracted already. And then we can just deploy our hang glider. Oh God, I just threw the damn logs off the edge. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, here we go. That's the cross we found last episode, but this is what I'm looking for. Whoa. Oh, it's its own thing. Okay, I thought it was a launcher we'd have to put on something, but maybe it'll fit on this side. Yeah, this will work. Look at that. That's a good spot for it right there. Okay, well, I threw the logs off the edge. No, I didn't. One's still here. Good. Okay. Might be asking yourself, hey, Lagan, why are you using the logs out from the woods when you have a whole stack here? I don't know, man. I just like having a full stack of stuff that I'll probably never use, and then I just go get the stuff I need from the woods. I'm weird like that. Let me go get some more logs. I think there's a little sled that I can use to push logs as well that I can make, but for this project, this won't take very long. Oh, that's Virginia. What you got for me? Let's see what she's got. Sometimes it's pretty good. Since I'm starving to death, I could use some food. What'd you bring me? I can't get that stuff out of the snow for some reason. It's just gone. I mean, I'm not really starving to death. I've got MREs and, and bars of uh, energy. Why did I just say it like that? I've got energy bars and I've got some dried fish. Let's eat that real quick. Put these on. There we go. Oh, have some of those, I guess. What is that? What is, why did you do that? Give me that back. You know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to use my, my reserve logs here. Why not? That's what they're for. And then I'll just have Kelvin go fill them back up. That's what he's for. I don't know why I'm doing things the hard way. Put them in. Starting to make something. It's happening. I asked you guys in the last video if you liked the longer episodes, and it was all yes. So, you know, these 45-minute episodes are a thing. Sometimes they won't be that long. Sometimes they will be that long. I just wanted to get an idea of where your heads were at, and now I know. Thank you. I actually think I have Kelvin set to maintain the base, so he is probably on his way to go fill this back up for us. In the meantime, let me get this fire going again, because it's looking kind of rough. There we go. I think I got the drying rack over the fire enough to where this will definitely expedite the process. That means make it faster. Calvin, are we, ha are we having fun? Are we having some sort of fit? What are you doing? Oh, you're fixing the air. Thank you. That, that looked like it could use a patch up. Don't you tell me no. You go get those logs. I saw you shake your head. That's right. I don't know why Kelvin thinks I'm playing games with him, but I'm not. Next time Virginia comes around, I have something to give her, and I keep forgetting to do it every single time. So hopefully I remember this time. Now, the raccoons are still out and about, so that's a source of food. There's three of them I just saw. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for raccoons. After I'm done making this, I do have something else I want to test out. Should be pretty awesome. Running out of daylight pretty quickly. Hey, man, it's pretty quiet today. I have not seen any cannibals so far at the base. This is nice. Calvin, run out of daylight. Get those logs in. And put that there, that there. Okay, I think that's done. Calvin, over here. Put the put the logs in the log holder. Then I just need to add turtle shells and sticks. I've got some sticks, don't I? Yeah, I've got some sticks. Put those in. And then turtle shells. I need three more turtle shells. I did not think this through because there's not going to be any turtles during the wintertime around here. Pretty dark in here at nighttime. I should maybe go to bed now. We'll wake up. Maybe the fish will be dried. And uh, we can finish working on some stuff around here. Bedtime. Ah, crap. You know what that means. We got visitors. Oh, there we go. You're stuck. Oh, that's a mutant. That's a full-on mutant. That's not a cannibal. Get my lighter out so we can see a little bit. Maybe I'll get my... Yeah, that, that'll work. The lighter will work. I was going to say maybe I'll get my flashlight out. I did put a new battery in it, by the way. I had some on the shelves inside, so... We have a flashlight for this episode. Yeah, that's a full-on mutant right there. That is not a cannibal. Throw it in the fire. Burn the evidence. Don't know if mutants burn like cannibals do. Uh, it might be burning. Tough to say, really. Oh, it's burning. Definitely burning. Virginia's back. Okay. Virginia, I've got something for you. Right here, this GPS locator. I can change the icon. Something that says, like, you know, something that's going to let me know this is Virginia on my GPS. Is there a V? Oh, there's a cannibal outside bleeding to death. That's funny. 
because it's funny. There, put that on her. Now she shows up on the map as a pink heart. Cool. We'll always, we'll always know where Virginia is now. All right, good, good, good. I'm going back to bed. There we go. Rise and shine. I am thirsty. A little bit of morning water out of the pot. Any of this stuff dry overnight? Nope, still dripping. Okay. I think we can make some ramen noodles with the pot of water. Um, I'm going to bring a couple of extra bars with me. Maybe a can of soda with me. Uh, how's my medicine looking? I've got two bottles of medicine on me. Uh, the plants won't grow during the winter time, so I can't make my own herbal mix. If I put this pot of water in here, and then how's about the ramen noodles? Can I... I think I need more water. Oh, well, well, well. Look what they left me overnight. Good God. Get this off of my yard. Get it out of here. That's creepy. Leaving me freaking effigies in front of my house to warn me. I'm not scared of you guys. All right. Let me get some fresh water here from the river. Oh, Virginia, you got me a fish. Please don't drop it on the ground. Don't drop it on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, I can get it. Yes. Thank you. Why is your face so bloody? What were you doing last night? I think she was defending our property. If you're wondering why Virginia is a mutant, I haven't really spoken about that. She has three legs and the third arm or something. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know why she's like that. Hopefully that we get some lore that will explain that to us. Does she have another fish? No, she's coming with stick. Man, she is helpful. Throw this fish on there. Let's cook some ramen noodles. Okay. Get the ramen and throw it in there. And then I should be able to cook it now. You can make something called chicken noodle soup if you have a severed arm. That seems terrible. We're not making that. Let's just make the ramen noodles. Once the ramen noodles are done, we'll have food and water. We've got backup drink, backup foods. I'm wearing a good amount of armor. I've got Molotov cocktails. I've got a bomb. And then I have got some sticks and stuff for spears. So yeah, I think we're ready for our next cave. But there was something else I wanted to check out before we go today. But first, let's eat. Ramen noodles. Everybody loves them. Well, that's pretty good. Didn't fill up much of my hunger, but it'll do. And I'll probably get another batch going before we go out. That way I can bring a whole pot of it in the cave with me. Oh, look at this guy. Yep, that's what those are there for. Come on, get up. Get up and take your lickings. Yeah, got him. Oh, an arm. Looks like we are going to make that other soup. So I believe if I were to put a stick on the ground like this, right here next to it, and then I can do this and that. Then we take one of these solar panels that I have, maybe shove it right there like that. Then I take a battery that we got from the last episode. It's a golf cart battery. Then I take some wire and I put it there. Then I think I put it here. Then I do that. I think we have an electric fence now. <laughs> So if anything walks into that, they'll get shocked. And I can just keep adding to this fence until it's all the way around the property. And I'll have an electric fence, but we should definitely test this out. I'm going to walk into it to make sure it works. Uh, I've got full health, and I've got uh, six, seven pieces of armor. Oh, yeah, it works. Didn't do any damage to me, but it works. Okay, hopefully that'll hurt the cannibals. But yeah, I can just keep adding to this fence. Just like this. Add some more wire to it, and boom. Just like that. Yeah, and I can just wrap this thing all the way around. That'll be awesome. Hopefully that works. Hopefully they don't jump over it. I am sure we'll find out tonight. Unfortunately, it looks like the stuff that we need to collect, though, for our hang glide launcher is going to stay on the screen until we collect that stuff, which really sucks because, like I said, I don't think the turtles are coming back until summertime. So those things are going to be on the screen forever. Immersion breaking. Oh, I also built a birdhouse, which passively collects bird feathers for me, so I can continue to make arrows and such. All right, let's put this back on the pot. All right, we got the pot back on there. We're going to throw an arm in there this time. And my other ramen noodle. And I should be able to make chicken noodle soup. Uh-huh. Oh, I hear noises. Oh, we got... Oh, your whole leg came off. Oh, someone's breaking something over here. I'll handle it. Stop or I'll shoot. Freeze. Oh, <laughs> yes, it works. The stun gun works. You stay away from my house, you jerks. 
Man, we had three big guys show up. Look at the size of these fellas. Oh, they dropped a skin pouch. Yeah, I can't wait to get this electric fence done. It'll be super helpful. Oh, another skin pouch. Any more? Okay, just a bunch of dead bodies. Let that be a warning to the rest of you guys out in the woods. All right, let's take our extremely sus chicken noodle soup. Oh, God, there's fingers sticking out of it. It's fine. And let's go to the next cave. I believe the next cave we want to go to is that one right there that I'm staring at directly. Straight. Uh, I don't know what that is. South of us. Also, there's a flashing icon to the right that I have never seen before. Now, that could be we found a red computer in the cave uh, that we went in on the last episode. And it did say it updated our GPS. That is probably what that is. But we're going to walk over to that first and just check it out. But the cave we want to go to today is straight ahead. I don't understand. I'm here and there's nothing here. Oh, there's a golf cart. Oh, another battery. Sweet. We can put that on our um, solar panel that is behind the house that's running the light inside. So I can finally have light at nighttime. Yeah, this is the entertainment bunker, I'm guessing. Uh... Yeah, I'll just take a little peek. I don't want to get too distracted. I want to go in that other cave today, but this could be the cave that actually has the 3D printer in it with, like, uh, no enemies. Let's find out, because once we find a 3D printer, yeah, this is that cave. So just keep in mind that I did play Early Access, so some of this stuff I do know, but there's so many new locations and different things about this game. Some of it is genuinely going to be a surprise, like... Uh, the artifact from the last episode. Had no idea there's going to be a collectible artifact, but look at all this stuff. We just got batteries, tape, some more wire. That's the the uh, 3D printer resin, a spot where we could save our game right there, and all kinds of crossbow bolts and carbon fiber arrows. Certainly will do more damage than my stone arrows, probably, mostly, and maybe... And some more printer resin, another one of those light bulbs. Yeah, we want to make that cross at some point. We got a weird blueprint for a cross. Aha, uh -huh. Tim LeBlanc. Well, 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 Timmy LeBlanc. On The Forest, the original game, we were trying to save Tim LeBlanc. We played as Eric LeBlanc, Timmy's father. So obviously Tim made it out and has written a book on parallel universes and travel between them. And I assure you, this is important. Also, we've got some sort of information on the screen here. Let's see if I can get a better look with my binoculars. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jianyu Zhang. We saw him at the very beginning of the game. This is the guy that pistol whipped us. And yeah, he is certainly a high security rest risk. He's a former corporate lawyer. All right. We're learning about the lore of the game now. I love it. We've got a box in here we can open up with even more batteries and another light bulb. And we got some Molotovs and some cereal in that one. Okay, I think that's everything we can pick up. But here's the 3D printer. We can come back to this anytime we want to and print out items. For example, we can make these uh, 3D printed arrows, a flask, a mask, grappling hooks, and tech mesh. Uh, if you're wondering what tech mesh is, looks like you can make a pretty sweet piece of armor with this tech mesh stuff. Also a sled we can make, and we can make some GPS thingies, and back to the arrows. There we go. I think I'm going to make a flask for now. That is resin well spent right there. Now we can have some water anytime we want it. Although I do have a pot that I can put water in anytime we want it, but you know, a flask, that's more traditional. All right, I'm going to save the game right here. Okay, let's head out, but as you can see, there is a way to go that way, but I do know that we're not going to be able to do anything that way because you need a key card. So this is as far as we can go, but this is great that we have discovered this and we can get in here and 3D print whenever we want to. Let's get out of here and go to the cave that I wanted to go to today. Also, I noticed all the stuff listed for our um, hang glide launcher is off the screen when you're inside of caves, so that is actually good. Not immersion breaking after all. And this entertainment bunker is really close to our base, so that is nice. Now, which cave did I say we were going to today? I think it was this one. We're almost there. Let's go. This cave's right next to our helicopter crash. I can't remember if we saw it or not. Maybe I walked right past it. Uh, oh, you know what? This is this is where I found the baton at. The baton, the stun baton. It was right here in this pile of skulls sticking up. Yeah, we definitely did not go in this cave yet. So this is the one we're going into today. Let's go. Oh, look, there's even supplies right here. Nice. 
Oh, even more supply by god bats, you sons of bitches. Oh, I hate the bats. Give me a freaking heart attack, why don't you? Go ahead and get the flashlight ready. You know it's about to be dark in here. Let's go. Okay. Sure, we haven't been in this cave. No, I don't think so. Yeah, we just broke the wood to get in here. We definitely have not been in here. Watch, 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 watch. Rags. Ooh, just found some raw meat on the ground. That's good. Some more cans, to which I have no way of opening, even though I hold in my hand an axe. You think I would get into a can at some point. But not my guy. No way. All right, lots of just random meat laying around. That's a good start. Got plenty of food we can cook up on a fire if we need to. Guess we can hop down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I fell. Oh, oh, there's someone over there. There's someone right there. Oh, there's a lot of mutants in here. Okay, hmm. How are we dealing with this? Perhaps a Molotov cocktail is a good opener. Let's find out. Just gonna say hello to these guys. The only way I know how. Where'd he go? He was just standing right there and now he's not. Oh, yep, they're running around now. There's one right there. Gotcha. Burn! Even if it doesn't kill him, it'll definitely weaken him. Then I can hit him with my axe probably one or two times and he's dead. What are you doing? Boom! Gone and get. Come to check on your friend? Boom! One for you too. I can do this all day, or at least until I run out. And then I can do something else. Oh yeah, you're definitely hurt. Look how bloody he looks. Another one. Run and tell the others. Oh, run into the fire. Oh, I didn't catch him on fire. That sucks. Okay, one's dead. Definitely dead. Please, oh yes, you're so stupid. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Gotcha. All right, two dead. Hopefully three dead. Yes. All right, three of them are dead. Let me keep looking around here. Yeah, you're dead. That's four. I believe that's all of them are dead, I think. I think the room is ours. Oh, this guy has a note. Oh, nope, the room's not ours yet. Hold on. Yeah. And yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Okay, good. The room is ours. This guy has a note. FYI, this is what we're looking for. This is a photo of Solophyte. And that right there is Solophyte. Can't collect it. But they were looking for it, which means it's probably evil. This is evil stuff. I believe it is time for some chicken noodle soup with fingers. Mmm. Oh boy, that's so good. One more. Go ahead and make me a piece of armor really quick and slap that on because I think one got knocked off. I think I'll save some of that soup for later, okay? I don't wanna I don't wanna look all greedy on camera, okay? So from what I can tell, we have three ways to go. It looks like can I go down this way? This looks dangerous. Do I don't see a way? Oh, there is a rope right there. Right there. And then it looks like there is a way to go this way as well. Oh, lots of stuff here. Good, good, good. Give it to me, give it to me. Meds, wire, a cross. This cross is pretty interesting because in the early access, it actually would set demons on fire. Yeah, that's right. Mutants, cannibals, and you have yet to meet the demons. But yeah, we can hold up this cross and just point it at them and they, it'll actually set them on fire. So that's a really good find. I don't believe we'll be dealing with demons anytime soon, but we'll hang on to that until we do. So yeah, there's a way to go that way. And then over here where I had that little fire set up, clearly is a dark path to go that way. So I'm gonna go down the rope first and we'll just work our way around the room. Down we go. It has dropped me off on a ledge. See if we can walk around the ledge without falling off. Aha, supplies. More supplies. I want to get across if I can, but it doesn't look like I can. Maybe I can go around this way and get across. Yep, got a little bridge here. Oh, look at that, a way to go. I'm gonna go over here to where this light is. See if there's anything we can pick up. Some solophyte on the wall, dead dude. Okay, dead end. Yeah, let's bust through these boards and go this way. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a comment down below, drop a like. Both of those things help the video get eyeballs on them. And I would appreciate it very much, thank you. I'm gonna pull out my torch for a little bit, save some battery life and warm back up. Uh, what in God's name's happening here? Another rope. 
Down we go. Do we have to go for a swim? We may have to go for a swim here. Yeah. Let's go for a little swim this way. There was the other way we could go too. So I'm not sure if this is the right way. Oh God, it's so dark. I don't think I can get up there. I th think this is kind of a dead end as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there's no way I can get up there. What is this? Yeah, there's a light up there. Oh, am I below where I was just at? Maybe. Yeah, that's the land bridge we cross. Okay, let me swim back the other direction. Okay, that's the rope we just came down. Yeah, let's go this way, I guess. Back into the water. Yeah, this is probably the way they wanted me to go. Oh, across. Probably means we're going the right way. Looks like we go up from here. Out of the water. Oh, yeah. What have we discovered here? Man, these caves are crazy. Oh, I hear something. Oh, I bet it's another artifact piece. Look at the boards moving. That's so cool. This game's getting cooler and cooler every time we do anything. I made an electric fence today, for Christ's sakes. All right, let's cut this open. Oh, it stopped. What was that? Maybe it wasn't the artifact. Come on. Although last time we followed a bunch of crosses, we did find an artifact piece. What was that? Oh, yeah, it's more of this metal. Let's go around this way. Oh, definitely an artifact piece. Piece number two. Hell yeah. Yeah, we now have two out of the seven pieces right there. All right, so I guess we need to backtrack, go all the way back up to that center room where I found the three different directions we can go in because this direction has been exhausted. Let's backtrack. Yeah. Okay, we're back where it all started with the three choices. So I guess we go down this way next. This is where we picked up the cross from right there. Okay, let's, yeah, let's see what this is. Oh, is this a dead end? Okay. Well, apparently there are two ways we can go. And we have exhausted one of those ways. Let's go this way next. Oh God, where did you come from? Sneak attack. How dare you? Where were you? I'll teach you to sneak up on people. Are you still breathing? No. <laughs> Probably can't show that on YouTube. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus, you son's bats. All right, let's just keep going this way for a little bit. Uh, how many more Molotovs do I have? None. Let me make... I can make two more really quick. I can almost guarantee there's going to be some baddies up here. What is that straight... What's that noise? Hold on a minute. I just heard something over here. Oh. Hell no. What? Are you? Uh-uh. I don't think... I think it's stuck. I'm not getting close to that thing. Sticky bombs. Oh, two free sticky bombs. <laughs> oh, I see. Is that the way to go? And the only way to get... Okay, we're gonna have to blow this dude up and go that way. Yeah, it looks like this is a dead end. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's take out a sticky bomb and blow this guy up. How do these work? Do I have to, like, set it first? I think we just throw it. Oh, he does it automatically. Okay. And here we go. Oh, yes. Yes. That's what you get. All these pieces. Bet we can make a good chicken noodle soup out of this. I'm trying to wade my way through these body parts. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay. We're through. I hear stuff. I see stuff. Okay. Molotov at the ready. Light it up. Approach with caution. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. And throw it. Yep, you're on fire. Nope, stop it. I don't have a weapon out yet. Oh my god. I wasn't ready. I'm ready now. Come back. You want to do combat? Here we go. Oh, God, your leg. Sorry. You're okay. Oh, boy, he had friends. All right, I'm going to save my other Molotov. I think I can take this guy on. Yeah! <laughs> you turned your back on me. That was your first mistake. Yet there's another one, of course. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I gotta remember I have that stun gun. Oh my god, now's a good time to use it, maybe. Hold on. Freeze! Oh, it works on mutants. <laughs> it works on mutants. Awesome. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work on them, because they're probably tougher than the cannibals, but no, that worked. Oh god! I got you. I got you. I got you. Woo! Nice! 
I'd be surprised if we didn't just clear this out. I hear a radio. Last time we heard a radio, we got our, we got the stun gun. Oh, it's right here. Can we break that and get a computer chip? Yes, we can. Looks like we've got some more stuff over. Did I hear something? Hello? Oh yeah, I definitely hear something. Oh, it's a fingers. I know how to deal with fingers. We just gotta hit him in the leg. That's the key to dealing with fingers, right in the leg. And then he falls over just like that and you run up on him and you get him with the ax. And then you run away because he got back up. That's fine though. We got some good hits on him and then we come in and go for round two, baby. And that's it for the fingers. Easy as that. The old leg trick. Then we take his skin so we can wear it at a later date and time. What did you have? MRE on you? I thought I saw something that we could read. Yes. This one's titled More Lightning. Gord, my workers are having a lot of trouble getting anywhere inside these caves in complete darkness. Oh, that says lighting, not lightning. More lighting is what this one's entitled. We need more lighting in there. It's a safety hazard. Light it up like a Christmas tree, Hank. Okay. Oh good, another bottle of vodka, which means, of course, more Molotovs. I've got so much medicine that I just threw one out. I can't even take any medicine right now because I'm fully healed. Make these two extra Molotovs now. And I can make two pieces of armor, because I'm looking a little light on armor, so let's get that fixed up. Pull out my fire torch for a minute and warm up. Get that stamina penalty off of me, and then I'm pretty sure I see something straight ahead. Yep, another fingers, right in the leg. You know the drill. Chop him up, chop him up, chop him up, run for a second. Let him go crazy. Oh God. Come on. No, come on, there we go, there we go. We got him, we got him. Perfect. Man, it's like I'm a veteran. What? Oh, oh, oh God, conjoined twins. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Right behind me, I can hear the pitter, oh my God, oh my God. Ugh. Oh, I can hear the pitter pats of their stupid little conjoined feet. Where do they go? Yeah, I see you. Uh, now I definitely see you. This is nightmare fuel. That's what it is. Oh, I missed. Crap. Maybe we can get him to walk in it. Oh, imagine this chasing you. Ah! Are they dead yet? No, they're not dead yet. Oh my god. Die! Spear throw! Oh, I hit him! Spear throw! Spear throw! Okay, that didn't work. That did not work. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Axe! Axe! Axe him! Axe him! Woo! Okay! Well, that's new. Well, I don't know if it's new, as in like it wasn't in the alpha, but uh, that's new for us in this experience. Join mutants. We'll call those slinkies. I don't know if they have an actual name or not. We'll just call them slinkies. They're dead now. Nothing to worry about. This room had a handful of mutants and it had two fingers and a slinky. Plus a bunch of good pickups. But I think it is clear now. I think we can keep moving forward. <laughs> Holy crap, this game. Oh, look at this, we got a cave drawing. It shows a picture of a cube, and then a person inside of the cube, and everybody on the outside of the cube seems to be either dead or dying or writhing in pain or something. But the person in the cube seems to be fine. A safety cube. And then this says stay out. Well, it's too late for that, we're already in. We are already in here. What do I have for weapons at my disposal? Nothing much. I got a couple of bombs. Uh, I'll go ahead and equip one of those just to be on the safe side. Or hot bar, rather. And if I need to launch one, I will. Oh no. Oh no. I definitely hear something walking around. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Where is it? What is it? I hear you, but I don't see... Okay, there you... Oh, it's another slinky. I wonder if I could get this to stick to the slinky. Oh yeah, I did, right on his leg. You're screwed, pal. <laughs> what? What? What are you, don't do that. How are you still alive? They're barely even bloody. Come on. Oh, they're dead, okay. They were very close to death from that sticky bomb. Good. More skin for me. Don't hear anything else. 
See some more light up ahead. It's always a good sign. Or <laughs> what am I talking about? That's never a good sign. Oh God, there's a pile of babies up here. Okay, let's just get in here and deal with them. Come on, boys. I gotcha. Yeah. Oh, I missed you. Okay, I got you. I know there's more of you. Yeah, there you are. Come here. Stop. Stop moving. Ow, you kicked me. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, I still think there's a couple more. I saw like five. I think I've only killed three. Oh, yeah, there they are. One and two. Okay. Baby's down. Oh, some drink. Some flares. And a note. This one's called Dig Site B. Gord sent Sammy to dig in his cave next. Haven't heard back. Can you check up on him and return my shovel? Ooh, and it gives us the location where we can find the shovel. I know where we're going next episode. We definitely need that shovel. And just in case you are playing this game at home or thinking about buying it, um, you actually keep all of the lore that you find inside of your inventory so you can uh, come back and read it here. See, I've got six out of 50 notes right here that I can just check up on at any time. So we will definitely be going to find a shovel on the next episode. I'm really interested in seeing what's in the graves that are right in front of my house, as morbid as that may sound. Am I still going the right direction? I think so. Let's keep going this way. I don't see anything back here. Oh, here we go. There's a tunnel ahead. I haven't seen any bats in a while. This sure would be a terrible time to try to scare me with bats. Okay, I'm hungry. It's time for some chicken noodle soup. Here we go, down the hatch. Yeah. Mmm. Extra fingery. I like it. A little more of that in me. There we go. That's it for the chicken noodle soup. But I do have an MRE. I'll eat that too, because I'm still a little hungry. All right. Stamina's good. Health's good. Armor's good. Food's good. Hydration is good. Let's keep it going. We're good, baby. Um, hmm. Okay, we came from that way. The only way to go is this way. Let's keep moving. The big cake. Wait. That's a dead baby. Did I turn around? Crap, now I'm confused. Hold on. I think I turned around. I think we need to go this way. I somehow turned around. Yeah, this way. Here we go. I think. Unless I've turned around, turned around. And now I'm going back towards the beginning of the cave. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yep, this looks good. Let's keep going this way. Lots of solophyte down here. Rope. Yes. Bones, always good. If you're into making bone armor anyways. Okay, we got a river that goes that way. And then does anything go this way? I don't know, kind of tough to tell. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, bats! <laughs> fingers, mutant, no mutant, no mutant. I just hope that fingers holds off for just a second. Let me kill this dude, okay. There's the fingers. Oh, another mutant. Leg, crap, missed. Leg, missed. God, there's so many mutants down here, hold on. We're gonna have to, drastic times call for drastic measures. Everyone hold still. Sticky Bob coming in. Tell me that gets, gets something, anything. Yes, we got the fingers with it. Oh God, I gotta take on three of these guys at once. This is not good. Take the stun gun out maybe and help me out here a little bit. Ow, gotta reload it. Ow. Yeah, missed, crap. Reload. Got him. Stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him. Don't let him get back up. Use the ax, use the ax. All right, good, one down, two to go. Running out of armor pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, there's still two more. Oh, you look like you're stuck taking advantage of it. I'm taking advantage of it. Eating you too while I'm here, ow. Get back. Get back, you filthy creature of the cave. Okay. Woo! Got him. Everyone's dead. I uh, gotta stop and make some armor, though. Now, where's the fingers? That's you. Okay. I have got one piece of rope, which means I can only make one piece of armor. I do have enough bones, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, 
we'll have three pieces of armor. If it comes down to it, I will put on that mutant armor. But I'd rather save it. Alright, let's keep going down this way. Getting brighter. So this is good. Oh, got another fingers. Do I have any more spears? Alright. This time I will hit you. No, I will not. I will get my spear back though, quickly. This time I will hit you. Okay, did I not? I did not. Right between the legs. This time I will hit you. Did that work on him? I don't know. I don't know. I think it did. Oh God, it didn't. He did not get stunned. All right, does not work on the fingers, it would seem. Okay, he's dead. So that's also fine. Armor, a tape, and my combat knife. There we go. We have a spear to throw again. Okay, this way. Ooh, looks nice and bright up here. I'll put the flashlight away for a minute. We know it won't last long. Even brighter. What do we have here? Babies. That's one down. Two down. Where are you going, baby? Three down. Four down. Ow! Got him. All right. Should be all the babies that you guys got for me around here. Nothing. By the way, it's never all of the babies. There's always more babies. Always. I have come to three dead bodies. More rope, though, which means more armor. Don't think I'm gonna make it quite yet, though. We'll see. I feel like we're probably close to the end of the cave here. Been in this cave for a while now. So I will make more armor later. See if we can get through it with the last three pieces we have. Uh, a little bit of an uphill here. This is narrow, but then also this way. Okay, dead end. Let's go this way. Get the flashlight back out. Oh God, it looks like we're in a hive of some kind. Look at all these bones and guts. Give me the bones. Uh, looks like this goes that way for a little bit. Um, there was also this way. Is there anything over here? Let me see. Now this goes this way for a little bit. All right, we'll just stick with this path. We'll backtrack and go the other way in a second. Oh good, this is a dead end, okay. Oh, there's stuff here though. Is there? Yes. What is that? Buckshot ammo, okay, cool. We don't have a shotgun. But when we do get one, I'll have some buckshot ammo for it. Is that all that's right here? Oh, that's me kicking around that box. I'm like, I can hear something. It was just me. All right, let's go the other way this time. Keep having to juggle between the flashlight and the torch just to stay warm and uh, get rid of that penalty. But I do prefer the flashlight because I can actually have my weapon in my hand. For some reason, this I'm wielding this with two hands. <laughs> that's kind of stupid. All right, this is the unexplored way. Here we go. Oh, MRE babies. See, told you there's always more babies. The flashlight back out. Yeah, no, don't you dare. Down to two pieces of armor now. Stupid babies. You make me sick. Got it. Wait, is there another one? Yep, one more. Still hearing something. Oh, oh, well, 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 fingers. You've shown me your weakness. You put it right there on display. Only one thing can happen from that. Take advantage of it. Die, die, die. Yes. Don't think we're done with mutants yet. I thought I heard something. Oh God, it's babies. That's what I was hearing. How do they sound like little birds? Like, a, like an eagle, soaring majestically, god damn it. Little flesh eagles. Where did it go? Ow! Stop! God, one piece of armor left, okay. I do not like, ah, damn it, I don't like it in here. I have to crouch walk around, it's so tiny in here. Okay, there we go. Dry land. I like how they put a bunch of random bone piles around for you. They, they know you're going through armor in this cave. So they hook you up a little bit. I like that. Um, I mean, you could stop and build a fire and burn all the mutants that you kill, but who's got time for all that babies? I'm tired of them. I'm sick of them. I think I just killed two of them with one hit. Where'd that other one go? I 
think I saw you. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. What have we come to here? Oh, yes. We got ourselves a rope gun. Let the fun begin. We can make ki all kinds of like zip line systems all over the map and stuff. This thing's really helpful. We've also got, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was grabbing a piece of rope off of a cloth. Crap, okay, well, I wasn't finished looking around up there. Oh no. Slinky. I got him. I got him. I got him on the run. Oh god, they turned around. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to stay behind them. That's my strat here. Oh yeah, they're dead. Good night. Ah, oh, I really wanted to finish looking around up there. Could have been a battery or you know, a piece of rope. Just anything. I want it all. But yeah, now I can build a zip line from where my cabin is, uh, right to the river. So I don't have to like walk all the way around and down the cliff anymore. I can just zip to the river. And I want to say you can go up these things as well. We'll have to test that out. Oh, this looks promising. Are we done with this cave? Oh yeah, we're done with it. Woo, now where on earth did you spit me out at? I wonder, let's see, uh, how far away from home am I? Not far, not far at all actually. I'm shivering cold though. Oh good, there's a whole hunting party right there. We're just gonna keep running, we're gonna run this way. Run away from them. So to review, we got ourselves the second piece of the artifact. We got a cross that will help with demons when we eventually run into those guys. We got some more lore, and one of those pieces of lore included the location of a shovel, which is going to be very helpful in progressing through this game. So we're going to get the shovel on the next... What the shit is this? Oh, the raccoons. We're going to get the shovel on the next episode. Also, we got ourselves a zipline gun. We built ourselves an electric fence. And we half built a launcher for our hang glider. And I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time. Uh, bonus footage. Bonus footage. I'm on my way back home and I found this small little camp. And look what I just found. Look at what I just found right there. Can opener. Boom. Thank you.